What's going on, Giants fans? Happy Wednesday afternoon. It's 3 o'clock on the dot. Leaving work. You know the deal. Uh, today was a uh, interesting day. A day we've all been waiting years for. Gettle Fuck. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll give him his name. Gettleman. Uh, no longer the general manager. Today we started a new era of Giants football. And hopefully this era will last very, very long of consistent hard-fought, contending teams, competitive teams, and eventually Super Bowls. Joe Shane was in, was finally introduced at his first press conference by the New York Giants as the next general manager of the New York Football Giants. And uh, just wanted to recap on how that presser went and my reaction on uh, what was said and uh, the questions that he had answered. Um, so I'll get right into it. Joe Shane was excited to uh, take this job. Obviously, who wouldn't be? We might suck, but we're still the New York fucking Giants, and we will always be the New York Giants. And players, coaches, no matter how bad we are, and no matter how bleak our team may look on the outside looking in, there will always be people wanting to coach, play, and work for this organization as it's one of the most historic organizations in football. With that being said, I will break down his first press conference as Giants GM and my thoughts and feelings on our new hire. I will say this, I like him a lot. Now, I know Joe Judge impressed everybody with his public speaking skills he seemed very confident when he talked when he was hired as the head coach two years ago. Um, a lot of people in the YouTube chat when this press conference was going live kept saying, oh, man, look how nervous he looks. Oh, man, he looks really nervous. Man, he, no shit he's fucking nervous. It's the New York fucking Giants, and he's being hired and paid to turn this fucking sinking ship around. Who wouldn't be nervous? I sure as hell would be nervous talking to the fucking New York media because half these guys don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. So, yeah, no shit he's nervous. That doesn't mean he's going to be a bad GM. Who gives a shit if he's not confident when he's public speaking? All that matters is how he works hard behind the scenes and how he turns his ball club around. Number two, a lot of you are very upset that after the press conference, uh, Joe Shane, Joe Shane, yes, I got his name right. I got his name right on first try. Yeah, a lot of you were very pissed off that Joe Shane uh, said that Daniel Jones is his guy going forward this year. What do you expect him to say? Come on. Be realistic. Don't be stupid. What did you expect him to say? In his first press conference as Giants general manager, as Logan Ryan, Sterling Shepard, Daniel Jones are looking on in the audience, do you think this guy is going to trash the quarterback, the current quarterback on this roster, he's going to trash him publicly in front of the entire media members and the Giants brass as Daniel Jones looks on in the back. He's going to trash him in his first ever press conference as general manager. Come on, that makes no sense. So slow your roll. Just because he said he's confident in Jones, you don't know what's going to happen three months from now. He, we could draft the quarterback. We could bring in a veteran. Like, what do you expect him to say? No, Daniel Jones fucking sucks. I want him gone. Hey, Daniel, sorry, but you fucking blow? No. No. Who in their right mind would say that? If he said that, he would be he would have been fired right then and there. Because that's publicly embarrassing. So, I get you that you're upset, but take that with a grain of salt. There's plenty of time before even the fucking draft. We got, what, 13 weeks before the draft? Anything can happen. Trades can happen. You don't know what's going to happen. So I get that you're upset, but what did you expect him to say? He is not going to publicly bash any current player on this roster, especially when he hasn't met any of these players. He met three players today. Logan Ryan, Shepard, and fucking Daniel Jones. Three players. That's it. We have over 70 players, including practice squad, on this team right now. Let him evaluate the talent first and the coaching staff before you jump to conclusions and just think, oh, this, well, here we go again. Like, relax. Don't expect us to be good next year either. 
This is a rebuilding year. Don't expect us to be good. I sure don't. What I say before, guys, lower your expectations and you won't be hurt. Lower your expectations and you won't be hurt. Other news. After the press conference, John Mara was asked, are you going to trade for Deshaun Watson and what are your thoughts on that? He seemed very ticked off by that question and why, why wouldn't he be? I would be if I was a fucking owner. It's common sense. Do the Giants ever make these kind of signings with a person with allegations and lawsuits and civil lawsuits about what he's done 22 women accusing him of whatever why would we trade for deshaun watson number two we have no money for deshaun watson we have fourteen thousand dollars right now in salary cap that's what ghetto fuck left us when he retired that's what he left us so fourteen thousand dollars i have more than that in my fucking checking account as we speak when the giants have in cap room so no, you shouldn't be upset either that we're not going to trade for Deshaun Watson. We're not going to trade for any. We're not going to trade for Rodgers. We're not going to trade for Russell Wilson. We're not trading for Deshaun Watson. Stop being upset. Think realistically. If you are a true Blue Giants fan, you know how we operate. It hasn't changed and it will never change as long as the Maras own this team. We're not signing and fucking trading for Deshaun Watson. Give it up. He might not even play next year. There's a good possibility he might not play ever again. So give it up. Okay? Give it up. As cool that would that be if he was fucking proven innocent and we traded for him, even if he wasn't innocent. I mean, even if he wasn't in legal trouble, we have no fucking money to make that type of trade. No money at all. So those are the two things I really wanted to hop on and just discuss right then and there. We're not, we're not getting to Sean Watson. Wipe those tears away. Just because our new GM, who's been a GM for the Giants for fucking like 72 hours, said that he likes Daniel Jones, doesn't mean that we're going to just go all in on Daniel Jones again. Let's just see what this motherfucker can be hired on. He's got carte blanche, full control, to do whatever the fuck he wants. Let him have the time and let him have the fucking time to just make moves on this team. We won't know what's going to happen until he fucking has a draft. He keeps saying we have 11 picks in his draft. I thought we had nine. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he got some compens comp uh, whatever that fucking compens compensatory picks. Whatever. It's been a long day. Um, but he says we have 11 picks. I think I thought we always had nine. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we have 10 or 11. Um, but yeah, it's like relax. Just because we're not trading for Deshaun Watson... Doesn't mean we didn't hire the. Doesn't mean we hired the wrong GM. Just relax, okay. Other news I wanted to point out. Um, I mentioned the other day Flores is expected to interview. I think tomorrow or Friday. Um, that's still ongoing. I've been hearing a lot of comments. Oh, we're we're all we're off the Watson train. Looks like Flores won't come. Apparently, there's been discussed that Brian Flores has expressed his dire and desire to play for, I mean, to coach the New York Giants. And just because Deshaun Watson won't be traded to our team doesn't mean he still doesn't want to coach the Giants. He still does. And so that's why he still has an interview. Um, so, yeah, my recap of his press conference, I like him. He seems like a very smart guy. I like that he's young. Um, I don't miss Dave Gettleman at all watching this guy speak. He seems like he knows what he's doing. He's got a lot of experience. Um, he's worked with a lot of smart NFL football people. I liked when he's made his comment. And uh, I don't know if you caught it on Giants.com. He spoke with uh, Sean O'Hara before. And uh, he mentioned something about in Bill Polian's book when he first started out as a general manager. He would keep a notepad and paper on his, uh, I mean, a notepad and pen on his uh, nightstand. And there'd be times in the middle of the night he would wake up and jot down some ideas that he had. And Joe Shane has uh, just has went on along and said that he's been doing the same exact thing. Um, I like him. Time will tell what he does with this team. Time will tell what happens moving forward. Um, he's got a lot. He's got a lot of fucking shit to take care of. He's got a huge fucking mess on his plate. This team is in cap hell. This team is in fucking shambles. We got a bunch of players that need to be fucking trimmed off this fucking roster. Nate Solder, I believe, is an unrestricted free agent by next year. And he's also due a $4 million signing bonus 
by this time in July, if he's still on the team, cut his fucking ass and deport him out of this fucking country. I fucking hate him. Will Hernandez is a free agent. I don't think he's coming back. Evan Ingram is a free agent. I don't believe he's coming back. Cut Lorenzo Carter. Blake Martinez, I love him, but since he's been out, we really I didn't really see much of, of a hole missing without him. I mean, he's a great tackler. I love his work uh, ethic, and he plays fucking hard. Fights till every fucking whistle. Um, but coming from an ACL injury, it's not guaranteed. So I'd say cut him, save some money. Um, maybe see if we can restructure James Bradbury's contract. I know he's due a lot of money. If not, maybe look on to move on from him. Um, I think we should either trade or cut Jabril Peppers. Um, he's been hurt. He's really not the leader that we thought he'd be. Um, it seems like Xavier McKinney has stolen his spot. And the Giants seem to be enamored with Julian Love still and Logan Ryan. Um, Jabril Peppers, I believe, is a, could be a cap casualty. Um, I also think there's a possibility Kenny Galladay might get cut. He's making fucking too much money. He's making $18 million next year. He's one of the top five highest paid receivers in the league. And he had zero touchdowns last year. Granted, Mike Trash going in. And Jake Fromm were trying to throw it on the last six games of the season. Um, that's not going to give anyone touchdowns or feel great about themselves. But uh, I think he's way overpaid and he was hurt pretty much half the season off and on. Um, I also believe Sterling Shepard should be a cap casualty. He can never stay healthy on the field. I think he, it's, uh, I love him. He's a hard player. I think he should be cut. And uh, we all know how I feel about Saquon Barkley, but I think he will be kept around knowing that the new GM thinks that I think once we get a better uh, once we get a better um, offensive line they think uh, Saquon could be a better uh, blocker but you know that's my reaction hopefully Joe Shane can turn this around um, but just be patient Giants fans we're one year in on a huge long rebuild it's going to be a couple years I think until we're in that playoff uh, hunt again so just be patient don't be discouraged I know it's hard with this fucking team how it's been, but I honestly truly believe that we have hired the right GM for the job. He's young. He can put in 20 years of work until he passes the torch to someone else. And I think his philosophies are going to be great for us. He stated that he does not want to be the guy that overspends in free agency. He wants to build our team from the ground up. And he wants to build it drafting players that he has studied and that he knows their work ethic and their characteristics, which is phenomenal. That's what the Baltimore Ravens have been doing for years, and they're a very consistent football team. They don't, you don't see them going out after high-priced free agents, and that's just the key. Build through the draft, build through the trenches, draft the D-line and O-line, and uh, supplement everybody else in the draft and free agency, but don't go uh, spending big money on the big fish. Um, Anyway, more interviews for the head coaching spot are underway. I will update you once we get a new head coach. Um, I think this will be the last video I put out until our head coach is hired because uh, I just don't see much more news to break until this happens. Um, but, yeah, I just want to hop on here real quick and just recap Joe, Joe, Joe Shane's uh, press conference. I think we got the right guy, like I said before, and uh, I'm positive thoughts. That's, I'm excited and uh, very positive thoughts moving forward with this guy. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm out. Go Giants.